Welcome to the rocket profile of the Long March 2F, the way China gets astronauts into space. The entire launcher uses UDMH, which is unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide as propellant. In fact, the main engines used throughout are all the same engine, the YF-20B. Each of the four boosters has one YF-20B, and the core has four YF-20Bs. The second stage uses a single YF-20B, though this one is called the YF-22B because it doesn't gimbal, and it is accompanied by four YF-23B verniers. Each YF-20B provides 814 kN of thrust, so that is the output of each of the boosters. The boosters burn for around 2 minutes and 8 seconds, though there's some uncertainty about that number. The efficiency for the engine is 291 seconds vacuum specific impulse. The YF-20B is similar to the Viking engines used in the early Ariane rockets, Ariane 1 through 4, as well as the Vikas engine used in Indian rockets. These are all based on a long line of Russian engines like the RD-250 on the Cyclone rocket, which also burn UDMH and N204. As mentioned, the core stage uses four of the same engines as the boosters. The only difference is the burn time, which is 166 seconds. However, while watching the Long March 2F fly, it is evident that there is not much gap between the booster separation and the first stage separation. So either the core stage is underfueled, perhaps because of the payload, or the boosters burn for longer than expected. With its four vernier engines, which are currently doing a bit of a roll oscillation there, the second stage outputs 831 kN of vacuum thrust. It also has a slightly higher vacuum specific impulse of 298 seconds. The entire stage is designated YF24B, while the main engine is YF22B, and the verniers are YF23B. The burn time for this stage is 5 minutes. Considering the size of the rocket, the upper stage has a very high thrust. There is no indication that the engine throttles, so close to the end of the stage's burn, the G-forces can exceed 5 Gs unless there is leftover fuel in the tank. The Shenzhou spacecraft itself resembles a Soyuz spacecraft because Russia sold the technology to China along with the necessary training, and the Chinese put it to use. The craft you see here though is neither a Soyuz nor a Shenzhou, but uh, uncrewed progress used as a test article. The main difference between a Shenzhou and a Soyuz is the more cylindrical orbital module in the Shenzhou replacing the spherical Soyuz orbital module. This gives the astronauts more room in space. Until Shenzhou 8, the orbital module could actually serve as an independent spacecraft, like a mini space station. Long March 2F has been launched 13 times with 13 successes, a perfect record for this particular variant of the Long March 2. 11 of those flights were with the Shenzhou spacecraft, and the other two launched a Tiangong space station in a modified fairing. The capacity to orbit of the Long March 2F is 8.4 tons. And with that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Long March 2F.